incredible production, just the best of best of everything. That is my favorite corn record, hands down. We're going to be approaching 20 years of Untouchables now, which particularly over in the UK was such a key moment for you guys. You know, such a high performing yeah. record over here and everything. Just wanted to get your reflection really on, on how you think that record in particular affected you as, as a writer or any kind of key moments you can remember from. from I mean, that's when I, that record was when I became a real singer. <laughs> <laughs> I awesome. worked with Michael Beinhorn, who's my dear friend, and I love to death. I respect him as a producer. Most people who work with Beinhorn only work with him once because he's so <laughs> insane and, and just demands perfection, which he should because he's a great producer. Um, he, he hooked me up with my first vocal coach and, and started me taking vocal lessons. I would come in the studio and start singing. He'd tell me to go home. He'd do it multiple times a week. Nope, your voice ain't right. You know, it took two years to make cost an astronomical amount of money and we were it was one of those records it was the first to be recorded at 96k which was the new sampling rate that hadn't really been out yet um you know i call that record the the heavy metal asia if you know steely dan's record asia you know that how good that album sounds asia sounds you put that on and it's like pops you're like holy shit untouchables is, is that for heavy music if you put that on a stereo and turn that fucker up it's insane the sonic quality um and i have like i have some rough board mixes that are even better <laughs> that we just found but um for all the effort all this stuff that went in that record for two years we worked hard on that it was just incredible production just the best of best of everything that is my favorite corn record hands down yeah just, there's nothing like it yeah, I'm inclined to agree, man. Absolutely. It definitely was such a key moment for you guys. And like I say, particularly in the UK. 